Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, even if your PC isn't officially supported. This will be an easy, beginner-friendly guide. No registry edits, no risky hacks, just simple steps anyone can follow. Stick around. I've done plenty of these videos using different methods from the fairly easy Rufus method to the more complicated method of using an XML file to fully automate and de-bloat windows before setting it up on unsupported hardware. Although I do include paths to upgrades, those videos are more clean installation focused. Today, I want to do a simple setup guide that anyone can follow regardless of your experience level. And I want to focus on an upgrade from Windows 10 to 11 without losing any programs or files. This will apply whether your PC is compatible with Windows 11 or not, according to Microsoft. There is one exception. Certain really old processors like the Core 2 Duo lack a set of instructions needed. Those processors don't speak the same language as Windows 11, and there's no workaround for that. But again, these are really old processors. Chances are your PC, even if it's 10 years old, will have the instruction set needed. We will check compatibility before the installation so you don't get deep into the process just to realize it won't work and you've wasted your time. We are not installing some shady altered version of Windows. We are simply bypassing those checks Windows does to check if your PC is compatible. If your PC is compatible already, then we are just doing a standard upgrade. It's important to note, Microsoft recommends against doing this because there is no guarantee future updates will work on your PC. Microsoft also wants you to buy a new AI-driven Copilot PC with Windows 11 pre-installed. They have incentive. And the best way to force you into buying a new PC is to tell you your current one won't work. Not today, Microsoft. I've done this many times with no issue with updates, and remember, as of October 14, 2025, you will stop getting updates for Windows 10 anyway. Plus, Windows 11 has a rollback period after the upgrade. For 10 days, you have an option to go back to 10. So if you just don't like it, go back. So what will we need? Your current version of Windows 10 must be activated or Windows 11 will not activate. If that is your situation, you can purchase an activation key for less than $20 with today's sponsor. Are you using an unregistered version of Windows 11? Then you need to check out keysfan.com. Keysfan offers a wide range of products including Windows 11, Windows 10, and even older versions like Windows 7. Need Office software? They got you covered with keys for Office 2019 and Office 2021. And here's the best part. You can save big with exclusive coupon codes by using my code RKT50 to get 50% off all Windows series. That means you can get Windows 11 Pro for less than $20. But wait, there's more. For Microsoft Office, use my code RKT62 to get a massive 62% off. Buying is super easy. Just add your chosen product key to your cart, apply the coupon code, and pay securely via PayPal or credit card. You'll receive your genuine activation key in no time. Once you have your product key, go back to the activation page, click on change product key, enter the product key you just purchased, and click activate. Be sure to check out keysfan.com. Remember, we're not doing anything wrong here. These paths to bypass these hardware requirements are built into Windows. Microsoft has to do that. For their volume licensing customers, large corporations aren't going to spend millions of dollars just because Microsoft says their hardware is no longer compatible. There are several versions out there of Windows Enterprise Editions that don't do the hardware checks. I can't believe I'm saying this, but in Microsoft's defense, they're thinking long term. As technology advances, new software comes out, and everything being based on AI, there likely will come a time where your hardware is not compatible. But that time is not right now. Right now, Windows 11 will run on most PCs. So, let's go ahead and get started. We'll jump on the computer, and we'll do a step-by-step -step upgrade. Let's go. Okay, so the very first thing that we are going to do is go to our start menu search box here and type in settings. It's already right there for me. So you type in settings 
click on settings. From the main settings page, we're going to go to Taman language. To the left, we're going to click on region, verifying the region that we use to set up our Windows 10, because you have to choose the same region when setting up Windows 11 if you want to do an in-place upgrade and keep your files in settings. If you use a different region to set up Windows 11, it won't let you save your files in settings. So this is very important. For me, this is United States, English United States. So that's what I'll need to select when downloading the Windows 11 ISO. Then I'm gonna go back one. The second thing we need to do is I'm just gonna show you how to do the native Windows 11 hardware requirements. You've probably already done this if you're watching this video, but if I go to check hardware requirements, it's going to bring me to this screen here for the system requirements. I'm going to click on this PC Health Check app, and then right here in the left top hand corner, I'm going to click download PC Health Check app. This is an app directly from Microsoft that's going to run a compatibility checker. Now that it's completed in the top right hand corner, I'm just going to click on it and run it. I'm going to accept the terms and conditions and I'm going to click install. I'm going to let it go ahead and open the Windows PC Health Check when I click finish. Okay, and now you can see PC Health at a glance here in Windows and I'm just going to click check now. And it immediately tells me that this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. It says secure boots not supported, TPM 2.0 is not supported or enabled, and the system disk needs to be 64 gigabytes or larger. Now all of these are as a result of me using a virtual machine, but you should get a similar message if your hardware is not compatible according to Microsoft. If you passed all these checks, you're good to go. So we're going to close this out and now we are ready to download the tools we're going to be using today. So first I'm going to go directly to Microsoft's website. You can actually use the tool that we're downloading to download Windows. I prefer to get it directly from the official site. So I'm going to type in download Windows 11. If you are doing an in-place upgrade and your hardware is supported, then you'll only need to do this step here as far as downloading. You won't need the tool we're gonna download next. We're gonna skip down here to download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for 64 devices. If you happen to have an ARM device, and that usually applies to lower powered laptops and mobile devices. I'm going to select the only version that it's displaying here. I'm gonna click Confirm. Okay, and now it's asking me to select my region, and this is what we just double-checked within settings, because I have to select English United States, otherwise it won't let me do an upgrade, it'll have to be a clean install. Now that I've got my region selected, I'm going to click Confirm, and now up here where it says Download Windows 11 English, I'm going to click the 64-bit download. That's going to start downloading in the top of my screen. Once it's complete, it will be located in my Downloads folder. I'll skip ahead. Okay, so now if I go to File Explorer and I click on Downloads, I'm going to see that Windows 11 24H2 ISO image here. If you're doing a regular Windows 11 upgrade and your hardware is supported, all you need to do is this. Right click on this ISO, click Mount, Open, and then you can run Setup directly from here and you'll start the setup process. Now I'm gonna back up and get the other tool for unsupported hardware, and then we'll get to this same point from there as well. And then after this point, it's gonna essentially be the same whether you have unsupported hardware or not. So I'm gonna cancel back out of this, unmount that ISO, and then do it for the unsupported method. So if you're doing a regular upgrade, just hang tight and we'll be back at this step in just a moment. Okay, if you are on unsupported hardware, I'm gonna go to Google and type in fly by 11. I will also put links to all of this in the description. It's on GitHub. I'm gonna click on it here. To the right, I'm gonna come down here to the latest release where it says releases, and I'm gonna click on fly by 11. Then I'm gonna come down here to where it says assets, and I'm gonna click on this first zip file right here. 
Now that is going to download in the top right hand corner of my screen and will end up in my downloads folder. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go back to my downloads folder and now we can see Windows 11 24H2, the ISO that we downloaded, this Windows PC health checkup that we checked our computer with. I'm going to delete this one because I no longer need it. And then we have the Flyby 11 zipped file. So this is a zipped file, so I'm going to unzip it. I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to come right here to extract all. I'm not going to change anything here. I'm going to click extract. Okay, and it opened up the file. There's the Flyby 11. I'm going to close this box for now. And I'm going to delete the zipped one just so there's no confusion. So now I have Flyby 11 and I have Windows 11 24H2. I'm going to move both of these to my desktop. You don't have to do this. I'm doing it just for the purposes of this video. Now, I'm going to open up the Flyby 11. And down here at the bottom, there is the Flyby 11 application. I'm going to double click it. You're going to get this message that Windows protected your PC. I'm going to click more info and I'm going to click run anyway. That's expected. I'm going to close out that folder. Now, this is a more accurate check to see if your computer will actually run Windows 11. SSE 4.2 is that instruction set that I was saying that really old CPUs don't contain, so it won't work. But here we are good. I got two green checks. So I'm going to go ahead and go to start upgrade now. Now it's telling me to drag and drop the Windows 11 ISO to patch it and install on unsupported hardware in place. So I'm just going to move this box over a little bit. I'm going to drag my ISO right into this box. I'm going to tell it yes here. Okay, and now we are at the install Windows Server screen. So we are back to essentially the same screen that we were earlier if you had supported hardware, except this says install Windows Server. Now, it's not actually going to install Windows Server. The end result will be whichever version of Windows you had at home, but it uses Windows Server to bypass those requirements. So I'm gonna click next. So whether you have supported or unsupported hardware, we should be on the same screen now. I'm gonna accept notices and license terms. Here's an important step. We're doing an in-place upgrade to keep our files and settings for, so we're going to select this first one. If this is grayed out for you, then you did not select the right region for your previous installation. You'll have to start over and select the correct region. You also have the option to keep your files only or to do nothing. We're gonna keep files and settings. I'm gonna click next. If you're on unsupported hardware and you get hung up during any of these processes, I would disconnect my internet and then do it again. It's likely that one of the updates that it's trying to do now has gotten hung up. If you disconnect your internet and do this, it won't do any updates till after you're in Windows. Then you can do your updates manually. Okay, now it says ready to install Windows 11 Home. We're keeping our files, settings, and apps. And I'm going to go ahead and click install. And now we're installing Windows. Again, it says server, but it's not installing Windows Server. And I'll fast forward through the parts where nothing's happening. Okay, now you should be right here in the Windows 11 desktop. As you can see, our menu has changed to the Windows 11 one. I do not like my menu in the middle, so I'm going to go to Taskbar Settings. Then I'm going to go to Taskbar Behaviors, and I'm going to change this from center to left. There we go. Now, there is a lot of other things you'll want to do here as it relates to privacy settings. I have a bunch of videos out there on my channel that you can watch to show you how to tweak your Windows 11 installation, because you'll definitely want to come in here and get rid of some of the stuff that it added. But as you can see, we did retain our programs and we did retain our documents. 
and now we have successfully upgraded to Windows 11. As you can see, we are on Windows 11 Home, not Server, version 24H2. And if I come over here to Updates, if you had your internet connection on, it likely gathered all the latest updates. I can run a quick check for updates here, and there are a few, just a couple of security and cumulative updates out there that it's going to grab real quick. Other than that, all the updates were just fine. And as you can see, my copy of Windows 11 is activated with a digital license. If your copy of Windows did happen to be activated, and now once you're in Windows 11, it's showing an activation error, just run the activation troubleshooter, and it'll update itself and activate, assuming you had a valid license. If you did not, check out keysfan.com. And there you have it. Your Windows 10 PC, whether supported or unsupported, upgraded to windows 11 drop me a comment below if you will give this method a shot and remember i have several other videos on my channel with different methods and i have not gone through all of the methods there are still more that i need to do videos on so make sure you check back later for yet another video on how to bypass the ridiculous windows 11 hardware checks also, drop me a comment and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. Do me a favor. If you found value in this video, please like and share the video. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. That helps me grow the channel so I can continue bringing you content just like this. Check out some of these other video suggestions. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.